Hello everybody and welcome to race 8 of the NASCAR Thunder 2003 Chase with the Championship. We return to the track known as The Rock. North Carolina Speedway in Rockingham, North Carolina for the running of the Pop Secret Microwave Popcorn 400. We're live from the North Carolina Speedway, otherwise known as The Rock, site of today's NASCAR race, the Pop Secret 400, right here on MRN. What can you tell us about this track, Barney? Tires, tires, and more tires. You've got to take care of your Goodyear Eagles when you come to this place, otherwise you'll be sliding up into the wall before you know it. An impressive average finish record for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yeah, and I'm sure he's in for another great ride. Of course, what else is new? When we're at these tracks, he always seems to have a great race. Jeff Purvis really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And, of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. You'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. Bobby Hamilton seems to always have to start toward the back at these speedway tracks. And let me tell you how frustrating that is to a driver. Starting in the back of the pack all the time is kind of like only being able to drive at rush hour. You know where you want to be, but that car in front or beside of you is always in your way. With courage, wisdom, dignity, pride, and courage, we thank and salute our soldiers for our freedom and our country. We're ready for some racing at the Rock. The engines are fired. The fans are excited. As two championship contenders, Mark Martin the six and Jeff Gordon the 24 car, share the front row. Let's check the rest of the starting field. My apologies for the technical difficulties. Let's check the starting field presented by EA Sports. It's in the game. In row one, we find Mark Martin's number six car and Jeff Gordon's number 24 car, two of the championship contenders. Gordon going for the Rockingham sweep. So number two, we find Tony Stewart's number 20 car and the veteran Bill Elliott's number nine car. Roll three, we find the top two drivers in the top two drivers in the points. Kevin Harping on the 29 car, the second place point man, and Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s number eight car, the, the point leader. There's rookie Sean Robinson's number 49 car, a great top 10 starting spot, and Jimmy Spencer's number 41 car. Still in number five, we find a pair of Pontiacs. Bobby Labonte's number 18 car for Joe Gibbs and Johnny Benson's number 10 car for MB2 Motorsports. Row number six, we find Casey Atwood's number seven car and John Andretti's number 43 car. Row seven, we find Shirley Marlin's number 40 car and Dale Jarrett's number 88 car, another one of the championship contenders. Row eight, we find Jeff Purvis's number 37 car and Rusty Wallace's number two car. Row 9 finds Roush Racing teammates back into the 17 car and Greg Biffle's number 16 car. Row 10, we find Jimmy Johnson's number 48 car, one of, another one of the championship contenders, and car number 97 driven by Kurt Busch, rounding up the top 20 starting spots. Row 11, we find Terry Labonte's number 5 car and Scott Wimmer's number 23 car, a rookie. In row number 12, we find Ward Burns' number 22 car and Jerry Nidu's number 25 car. Row number 13, we find Ryan Newman's number 12 car and Michael Waltrip's number 15 car. Row 14, we find Jeff Green's number 30 car and Robbie Gordon's number 31 car, the Richard Childress racing teammates. Row 15, we find Ken Schrader's number 36 car and Ricky Rudd's number 28 car. Row 16, we find Jeff Bird's number 99 car and Jeremy Mayfield's number 19 car. Row 17, we find Elliot Sadler's number 21 car and Todd Bodine's number 26 car. Row 18, we find Ricky Craven's number 32 car and Shane Hall's number 63 car. Row number 19, we find Steve Park's number 1 car and Mike Skinner's number 4 car. Row 20, we find Casey Kane's number 98 car, a rookie, and Jamie McMurray's number 27 car, another rookie. Row 21, we find Kyle Petty's, excuse me, Kyle Petty's number 45 car and Frank Kimmel's number 46 car. Row number 22, rounding up the field is car number 55, driven by Bobby Hamilton. It's time for racing at the Rock. 
Green flag is out, and we're on at the rock. Oh, Junior gets a little bit loose. Gathers it up. Oh, and he and a shot of Robinson made contact. Oh, here comes Ernard Jr. on the move. Tony Stewart leads lap one with Harvick in pursuit. Oh, darn it. Got into Gordon. Didn't mean to do that. For fourth. Here comes Harvick for the lead. He's got Stewart. On oh, Gordon moves in the third. Kevin Harvick will clear Stewart for the lead. And here comes Ernard Jr. on the move for second. Oh, he just got into Stewart. Sorry, Tony. Jeff Gordon moves into second. Oops. Got that first the break. Oh, Gordon and Ernard Jr. side by side for third as Harvick leads another lap. Here comes Ernard Jr. for the lead on Harvick and bringing Gordon with him. And you're trying to clear Gordon for the lead, but Gordon is side by side, not giving up the lead. Oh, Junior and Gordon both got loose. Junior's getting really loose. And he drops to fourth. Gordon is your leader once again. Oh, he gets Martin out of shape. Oh, he, Martin goes into the wall. My apologies for the background noise. Harvick moves into second. Four more laps to go at the Rock. Or five laps to go. Gordon trying to sweep at the Rock. Kevin Harvick riding to the number two spot. Taylor Hart Jr. is in third, followed by Mark Martin and Bill Elliott, the top five. Will Gordon sweep or will Harvick catch him for win number 10 of the season? Four more laps for Gordon. Harvick and Earnhardt Jr. are in pursuit. One of the greatest races in, in finest. Here comes Ernard Jr. for second. Jr. gets a little tight off the floor and had to check up. Now Gordon's got two more laps to go. So the Chevrolets from the top three, Gordon, Harvick, and Earnhardt Jr. hit Rick Hendrick, Richard Childress, and Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. We are coming to the white flag. Gordon trying to hang on for one more lap. And we got a car off the pace. Somebody blows up on the last lap. Johnny Benson in the 10. Jeff Gordon sweeps at the rock. Harvick second, Earnhardt Jr. third. 
Mark Martin fourth, Bill Elliott fifth, then Bobby Labonte, Rusty Wallace, Dale Jarrett, Jeff Purvis, and Tony Stewart rounding out the top ten. Followed by Surly Marlin, Jeff Green, Kurt Busch, Jimmy Johnson, Atwood, Terry Labonte, Newman, Spencer, Craven, Robinson, then Jeff Burton, Wimmer, Schrader, El Sadler, Andretti, Waltrip, Rudd, Ward Burton, Biffle, Robbie Gordon, Kinsev, Kane, Petty, Mayfield, Park, Bodine, Kimmel, Hamilton, Nadu, Hall, Skinner, McMurray, and Benson. Now with Rockingham out of the way, the next stop is Phoenix with two more races to go. We'll see you next time at Phoenix.